What's up gamers, GF Ditto here, and welcome back to Let's Play Spectrobes, where today we are headed for the planet Mado. Which, if you'll recall from a previous episode, we attempted to reach before, and we were pretty much forced away. That's how we ended up on, uh, on Himuro to begin with. But now that we've activated Himuro's, uh... Now that we've activated Himuro's mechanisms and rotated it in such a way that it's being used as a focusing lens, we should have access to the planet Mado now. However, what I want to do here before we do that is I want to mix up the teams a little bit. And then we are ready to head off for Mado. Let's do this. Okay. Planet 7. Mado. I rotate the planet. We only get in Area 1. If the planet doesn't rotate, you haven't done it right, and you should try again, generally speaking. There are only two planets, I believe, that only get in Area 1. I could be wrong. And those two planets are Mado and Himuro. Here we are. And there... This is a completely unexplored planet for us. So there are bound to be new fossils, new minerals, things like that. Um, like, for example... Oh, a fossil right off. I was expecting a mineral, but what is it? Oh, it's a Harupod. Um, there's some minerals here, but there's also a... That's a Villapod. Which we don't exactly... Uh, need right at the moment, but if we can... Have I done Lazuli? I don't think so. I'm gonna unearth it to be sure. I'm not sure how to tell if I've done one or not, except uh, by checking my databases. Uh, my in-game databases, or, you know, remembering whether or not I've dug up each, each specific thing. But a Lazuli is not that big a deal. Especially since these can come in handy. This is graphite. I know for a fact I've not dug this up yet. I feel like Lazuli I might have encountered once before, and I used the uh, the instant mineral excavator to, or whatever the tool's actually called, to uh, try and excavate it, and then it failed because I hadn't done it before. And that's why it sounds so familiar. So we got some graphite. And what's this? Power A+. Plus. So this will make power and health A+. Plus. If I can find a defense A+, plus, then I can dig up all of those. No sweat. Granted, that's not exactly what we're here for, but in the off chance that we do need, you know, a little bit of grinding. We, we have it. Rollin, once we eradicate the Crawl Swarm here, the Nana Aero Star System will be safe again. Yes, I think the light at the end of the tunnel may soon be in sight. Stay focused, I know you can do it. Leave it to me, I'm gonna make the Crawl pay for all the trouble they've caused. Let's do this, Ikuze! Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, we're bound to run into a lot of crawl tornadoes around here. Oh, oh, okay. Um, this isn't exactly ideal conditions, but at, like at all. I would like to show off what 
sparks can do. Because as I've said before, Grill Dragos is was always, always um Fencer's partner. Or what? Oh. Oh, that's different. I can tell it which enemy to But it's not doing any real damage is the issue. See, normally Grill Dragos is a a very ranged attacker. Nope. Normally, Girl Dragos. Uh, Gary! Missed the three-year stream. Oh, yeah. No worries, my friend. I completely understand. And, you know, when you need rest, you need rest. Oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't equipped that Geo. Which might have been a good idea. So it doesn't look like Grill Dragos is going to be doing too much of anything. You know what? Let's get out of here. We've taken heavy cat heavy damages. Um battle set. Oh jeez. Rollin Rollin should have it. There it is. Geo. Thank you for subscribing here at Ktraw. Oops, I mean this channel. Leaf, thank you for the 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 16 months of Twitch Prime. How's it going, my friend? Okay, come on, get this charged up. So basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show off the Geo, which requires a three charge. Alright, this is the, quote, ultimate form spectrobe. I, I would love to know what it evolved from. Charge of two will do her, eh? Oh, that was that was pitiful. Yeah, I'm gonna take the custom part off of that. And then sparks will still be sparks, just without a custom part. It won't be shaped like a dragonfly anymore, which is fine. It's goes Cool, cool. This is an absolutely terrifying position to be in. Because... Dang it. I can't finesse it. Of course not. Um, yeah, I'm in a very bad position right now. She'll now lurk in your honor. Well, thank you. That's greatly appreciated. I'm going to run from this, too. Uh, I may have to switch up the lineup on the spot. I... For one, I, I could definitely do with having... 
mace back. Outside. I mean, I do have some healing items, but grilled, ch but sparks isn't exactly doing us a whole ton of good in current condition. I would rather, if I need a ranged spectro, uh, I'd rather swap in Villanox. Otherwise, I, I need to put him back with with his, uh, with the partner I had already selected. Is the distinct feeling that I'm getting here. If it wasn't for the Gazoot, I'd be... Oh, yeah, I, I need to switch him out so I can go back to actually fighting these things. Battle set. Let's get the spectrobes. Um, yes. You know what? Let's give Komodoros and or Kuma and Apex a try for now. Let's give them a moment to uh, to shine while we work our way through here. I just wouldn't want to face any bosses with that team right this moment. Some Moldovas. Okay, this this give us a chance to we'll see what these two can do. Not a lot at sea. Hang on. Let's be fair. Let's get the Geo in there. And this is the new cheese, by the way. Except it can't be cheesed. You can only get it once per fight. Only does 83. Okay, so, wow, these two are, uh, I say only. 83 is still good. It's not the best. It's not what I'd call ideal, but it, it works. It's not an unreasonable number of attacks to, uh, attain victory. Wait a minute, this corner screams... Can I get my... Sure. Another Lazuli. What I want is a defense... Uh, A+. Plus. That's an A, that was close. This is the dead end that I was... No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. And there we are, there we are. I think that's a good sign. Um, 
I'm not 100%, but I think this might be a sign that I need to switch my team. I don't want to approach a boss <laughs> unknowingly, you know? Gassy bars and mole racks. Okay, this team is a little more defensive overall, I'd probably venture to say. I'm not certain, though. I think that's very close to how I raised them. I beat one. Oh yeah, Rowling can't be taking that kind of damage. There we go, there was some damage. Fair amount too, go Apex. I want a Super Serum. Wait, no, oh, this is the way I came from. <laughs> Three gazoots. <laughs> Gazoon type. I'm out. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, the funny thing is, the team that's going to win this for me is Fencer and Mace. It's always been Fencer and Mace. I clicked the wrong button. I meant to click A. Let's see if that gives me anything. I played far too many RPGs. Shoot. Yes. I danced around the crawl like it was nothing. Oh. Oh no, that ominous background. Oh, here we are. Alright, let's do a lineup. It's always been you two. One of y'all could use a little health, that's fine. Do I have? Let's put that. Okay. I do need to heal Fencer, though.
Whoa, what is that giant mushroom looking thing? It's emitting something. I wonder if this is the innermost reaches of the swarm? Oh boy. What the? Could this be the crawl leader? Either way, I'm going to make you pay for every bit of damage you've caused our system. Let's do this! Ikuze! Alright. This... This is a torso. It does a shockwave thing. Let's see how much damage I can do to it. None. Okay. Then here's the thing. This battle is going to require a certain amount of cheese. And a Geo. Oh, Torso, you are going down. Okay, so that should have popped the shield. Let's see what I can do now. These enemies don't move quickly, so I can easily cheese them in the back. It looks like. As long as they actually... take damage, which they... Oh, no, no, no. I guess they bounced off the back wall. So we broke the shield, which allows for us to damage them. If your if your uh, cheese attack doesn't do any damage to anything in this game, you can assume it's got a shield going at that point in time that you're going to need to geo. And there is one enemy. There is one enemy. Oh, crap. There's one enemy that will start out without shields and then put them up in the middle of the fight. So if you pop the Geo too soon, you're not going to have any kind of ability to win. Now, if it hasn't already been picked up, the way to use the Geo is to use Y to shift into special mode like you would normally uh, for your cheese attack, and then press X instead of cheesing it. Because Geo will appear in the center of the screen with the X button next to it. Alright, this boss battle just got actually quite a bit easier, I think. I was going to ask if I could ask him to, or ask it to actually attack, but uh, I'd rather just continue with the cheese. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Come on. We're just finishing the cheese for a torso here. 
it should be all but over at this point. It should be just a formality. Um, I don't know if I want... I kind of want Fencer to get in there and finish it himself if this doesn't do it. Nope, we were... Rollin took a hit. I do believe I get... Yes. Okay. Rollin took a hit there. That's not ideal, but... I can probably jetpack from here. That that was a decent amount of energy. Oh, yeah. The power of Zell's spores have healed Rollin in the Spectrums. Awesome. Huh? Somehow coming in contact with that stuff from the mushroom completely restored my health. Um, this is probably not good. Roland, this is Gina. Do you read me? Are you okay? I think so. I think I just took out the parent crawl, or one close to it. Huh? That's impossible. Yeah, that's kind of what I was worried about when you got healed. It's getting up, isn't it? What is it? It looks like the crawl I killed is coming back to life. How can that be? Maybe that stuff from the mushroom is restoring crawl's health, too. Roland? Crawl are drawing their life force from this thing. All they need to do is return here and all of their wounds are healed. So, as long as it's still there, yeah, the crawl will use it to heal and regain their strength. We won't be able to beat them unless we destroy the mushroom. Let's do this! Ikuze! Oh, okay, okay. Oh, those are Zeppies. Okay, so here's the thing here. The Zeppies are the the primary target here. I don't think you can do much to Thraxa. Um but we can destroy the Zeppies. Which are regular crawl. We've it's, we've encountered them quite a number of times, and it's... Oh, we do hurt them. Okay. We do hurt Thraxa. Oh, and, and the Zeppies get revived. But I believe it's costing... No? Can you hit the Raxa, please? Okay, this is weird, because what's supposed to be happening here... Is as it revives the Zeppies, it's supposed to be taking damage. Like this five ninety nine, I killed it. It comes back still at five ninety nine. That's not even how the strategy guide says this is supposed to be going. The strategy guide always read that... You know what? Maybe I have to geo it. For that to work. Because you'll notice I haven't used the geo yet. Let's be sure, because the strategy guide always told me to... Uh, Aim for the Zeppies because it'll restore them. Although Thraxa itself doesn't exactly uh, pose too much of a threat on its own because, yeah. It has no offensive attack.
we win. Okay. So it did not at any point uh, spend its HP to revive them. They just revived. So I believe in that regard the strategy guide would be wrong. I would have to double check though. Rowling, what's your status? Um, alive? It's over. I destroyed it. The crawl won't be coming back to life anymore. Rollin? What was that sound? Rollin being very, very wrong, right? Ah, the body of Crawl I just defeated is gone. It just disappeared? Be careful, Rollin. Something strange is surely going on. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. That mushroom-like creature must have brought it back to life. Be careful, Rollin. Oh, uh, okay. <sighs> The only way for me to make the Nano Euro system safe again is by taking you out. It is it's my duty to protect this star system and everyone who lives in it. I'm going to make sure you never hurt anyone here ever again. Let's really do this. Ikuze! Oh shit. Okay. Let's go Blada. Now, here's the trick with this one. We cannot... Oh, crap. Cannot get too, too far away from him. Don't want to be close enough to get attacked, but we... We cannot, cannot get too far away either. And this, this would be the point where I say, do not use your Geo. You have to really, really read the fight. Because this is one of those enemies that I was mentioning earlier on that will develop a shield later on in the battle. Yeah, we don't want to be close enough for that claw attack. Shield is up. Geo. That claw attack can do something like... If I recall correctly, that claw attack can do something like 300 points of damage per hit. It's crazy. Now, the reason I say you don't want to get too far away is that he can just jump across the arena at you. Luckily, these are the Spectrobes. These are the two that we're always going to do this. always been them. Oh! Oh, uh-uh. Nope. What, what do you think you are doing? I win. Holy. Three level ups for Mace, 5,000 Gura, not bad, not bad at all. I forgot that, I, I'm not gonna lie, I forgot Goblada had the ability to heal. Could it be? Is it finally over? Rollin? Rollin, are you there? Come in! What is it? Is it another crawl? No. In fact, the black vortexes are disappearing from the surface of Manta. So we did it? Is it over? Have we actually defeated them? It looks that way. <laughs> they, they, this isn't the last game in the series. What was that? Did one come back to life? 
I don't think so. When that spore spraying mushroom died, the planet became unstable. You've got to get back to the starship. Understood. I'm on my way. And there it is. Roland, you've done it. You've saved the entire star system. You're going to be a hero. No, it wasn't just me. What do you mean? I mean, yeah, he he was the one who got out there and got his hands dirty. The spectrobes. He's gonna on it. It was... It was all thanks to our friends and partners, the Spectrobes. They defeated the Crawl. Just like, just like when you become champion in Pokemon, it's not your victory, it's your Pokemon's victory. This is very similar, and Rollin is acknowledging that. He couldn't have done it without them. He really couldn't have. Rollin does like one point of damage to the Crawl, no matter how powerful his weapon is. And Aldis, if he hadn't shown up when he did, we never would have known. You're right, Rollin. We really owe you a debt of gratitude, Aldis. I merely did what anyone would have done in this situation. And what's more, I couldn't have done anything without the two of you. You believed my story. Without you, the Spectrobes would still be slumbering as fossils, unable to help anyone. Good point. This really was a team effort. We came together to protect this star system and everyone in it. Hmm? It's a transmission from the commander. I forgot to report in. G Gina, you you literally had one job. Not again, Gina. Rollin, can can you talk to him? <laughs> what me? What? Why me? Gina, you had one job. Rollin, Gina, where in the world are you? Give me a status report at once. Sir, this is Rollin. I am pleased to report that we have carried out our mission and the Crawl have been defeated. We are returning to Colin now, sir. Ikuze! Spectrums. Such a magnificent game. But yes, I 100% I, I recommend checking out this game given the chance. It's definitely worth at least one playthrough. No, no cutscene, no nothing. All right, so that is the finale. That is the end of Let's Play Spectrobes. I want to thank you for watching. If you like this sort of content, please be sure to slay that like button that tells the YouTube algorithm that more people need to see these videos, and as such, the algorithm will push them out as recommended to more people. It helps out the channel immensely. Wow, way to stumble over my words there. It helps the channel out immensely, and I am ever so appreciative when anybody clicks that button. Then, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you can see when I have a new episode go live. In this case, you can look out for Let's Play Spectrobes Beyond the Portals. New episodes coming. Then, check the links in the description below for all the cool things that I do, including the Twitch channel where this was recorded live. Then, if you feel so inclined once you're done with all of that, feel free to pop over to the comments section and let me know your thoughts on this game, on the series itself, which spectrobes you think are cool looking, which ones are your favorite, you know, a anything, anything pretty much. And if you're looking for, uh, if you're just looking to support the channel and you want to leave a comment but you don't know what to say, just, just post Wow, what a finale. Or something along those lines. Once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!